Okay, today I'm going to be starting the uh, Normandy landing missions. Uh, the first one is Sicily, so that's the one I'll be beginning with, obviously. Uh, I'm going to be doing all of this free to play, so uh, only using generals which are like uh, free. So, as you can see, like Guderian, Rommel, Montgomery, people like Bastico, uh, just people like that, basically. And uh, I'll be giving you like tutorials on how to do these missions, so uh, let's get straight into it. This is just a simple sort of plan, so you can see what I'm going to be doing just before I do it. You want to focus your land units just in there in that little cove. You're going to be going with your navy just around the coast, all the way around the island to the other side. And this will ensure that you uh, eventually beat this level. Okay, so let's put that plan into place now. Let's get uh, our strongest unit, Guderian, down. And um, put Bastico just next to him. And we'll also get Kurenev down. You can put the medium tank and the infantry over that way as well. Now although we are going to be progressing these navy units all around the island, I just want to keep them near the beginning at first. To have a little go on those Alpini units because um, they're going to be annoying in a minute. Uh, you notice we're going to have this guy as well down here. We're going to be sky training him in a little bit. But I'm going to wait until we've actually taken this um, small portion of the island. So let's uh, go into round number two, and then we can actually start doing that. So yeah, you'll notice that these Alpini units, they've done this thing on my Guderian where he can't move, and it's this thing right here, the impede ability. So yeah, I can't move him for this round. What I can do though is take them out with Bastico, and try and get the rest of my units landed. I wasn't able to, because he didn't activate his critical attack, but that's why we have these naval units here, uh, just so that they can help out and we can push the rest of our units on they weren't quite able to take out the medics you can try to take out of your infantry and um, yeah at this point after this round you're going to be moving the navy all around the island up to here uh, we don't want to move this guy just yet we're waiting until we take this city but yeah it's a good start so this is the second picture of my plan again it shows the navy you need to go around with it uh, you want to focus your strongest unit or units to go left because you have to fight Graziano over there. So I'm going to take Guderian, and you want to put your side units like Rommel, Kohenev, uh, Brook, Bastico um, towards the right hand side because you've got some fortresses to take out um, and some strong elite forces. But yeah, that's the general plan. Okay, so round two, we can now get Guderian on the arm, which is a big thing. Um, it's a good start as well, takes that city out. We can move the medium tank on, Let's get, rid of the, get the rest of the infantry on now. I'm going to move these uh, over here first so that we can help uh, people like Montgomery get landed and Alexander. So yeah, we're going to move them over there straight away. Oh, you're so close to taking it. Oh well. Um, continue to try and just take them out. We get close. And, um... We can now sky train this guy over here. We can heal up our medium tank. And we can begin moving these guys around uh, to go and help. I am going to attack this city though, just for now. But we'll have to go help Patton. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much round three. Now round 4 we should be able to take this city. Oh, okay, that's good. Uh, the British have taken it then. Let's just destroy the remainder of those units. Try and get rid of those Alpinis. And focus on this city. However, with Guderian, you're going to send them this way instead. Try and take out that super tank. And all surrounding units take with the medic if you like. And now we're moving our navy around the island. You can do some attrition attacks on these if you need to. And at this point I would recommend putting down a second tank. Uh, put down whatever your strongest one you've got is and uh, I would put down Rommel. 
and we go into the fifth round. Now, uh, we can either keep, we could take that city if we wanted, but I'm going to let the British have it just for now. They should keep it, and it's just easier for them to land if they've got it. Uh, we can use Rommel to try and capture this city as well. Which actually went really well. We get a message from Kesselring, he's just yapping, don't worry about him. And uh, yeah, now you want to try and make sure you attack these fortresses early on. As they are a bit of a nuisance, they have a lot of health. And uh, you want to keep progressing um, Darien round the island. He can go by himself really because if you keep the medic with him it's completely fine. Make sure you heal other units if he doesn't need healing. I would place a second artillery unit down. Um, you can send him anywhere but I would send Brook north. And at this point I would just keep sending the navy round slowly trying to get to that point. And, but yeah, it's going pretty good so far. Let's try and take out these Alpinis real quick. Masco couldn't quite do that unfortunately. Uh, we'll take out the remainder of them with Rommel. Um, we're going to put him up here just so that these things attack him and he can do damage them over time. Because uh, you have to, the only way to get to Messina is through these. And we'll keep attacking this fortress. We're also going to send Brook up north to do this little area. He actually almost did it in one, which is quite impressive. And we can send Guderian to go and help Patton. Then we'll obviously take out the elite units early on. And if you're able to, try and take out those fortresses. Now, I wouldn't put your medic on this at all. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, you want to make sure you keep this medic safe. If you want to take the island, you can paratroop it. That's what I'm going to do. Um, it's safer in your hands than um, your allies' hands, as they aren't always the best. I'm also going to take that city just so I get a bit of extra money. But we want to keep continuing round the island. We almost like make light work of that destroy six health. Oh my god. Okay. So it's round six. There's obviously only 16 rounds to do this in, and we've already taken most of the cities. We've only got this one, this one, this one, and this one, and we've got the two fortresses, so we're doing pretty good. Going into round 7, we just want to continue that same trajectory we were already doing, as I discussed earlier. Now, we want to take out Palermo and um, Graziani before going for that fortress. In this case, you can land on Palermo with your medic. It's just easier. But if you've got the money, you can do. Make sure you keep healing Patton as he uh, will take a lot of the hits for you. And then we can finally get all the way around. And uh, they can basically focus on that fortress. So once you take out these two, you could sort of just move them all the way back over here. Once Brooke takes that out, you should probably try and paratroop. Unless you've got units near him, it'll be very difficult to take it out. You can use Konev and all of them lot. Take out this fortress. And yeah, we're doing really well here. Uh, going into round 8, the halfway point, and we're more than halfway done, so... Yep. We've now broken through as well. We've taken out the fortress, and we can start shoving units through to go and take out Messina. Now we do still have the problem of Graziani. If you've got leftover money, you can put down another uh, unit. Uh, but just for now, I think I will uh, put down Montgomery. He'll be able to help out. I just want to focus on taking out Graziani first before going for those last cities, just because I've got time. If you're running low on time, then definitely don't bother with him, just focus on the fortress and the other objectives at hand. I like to take him out just because he likes to mess with you and go for your places that you're trying to conquer. Uh, Montgomery. 
making slight work of them. Over here, Messina is practically already dead. That's fine. We'll uh, finish it off for them. That's why saving Montgomery earlier on was quite a useful thing to do. Now, I would recommend you try to take this as early as possible. You don't want them spawning any more elite forces on it. And it's round nine, and it's uh, obviously very clear that we're going to win. My recommendation at this point, if you get to this point, is just make sure you don't let any of your generals die. Because that would be a tragedy. And your naval units should make decent work on the fortress. And uh, just like that, you should be able to complete the whole level. Yeah, good rewards on level, you get 75 medals, but um, I hope my tutorial helped, and I hope you enjoy the next ones that we'll be making.